Most of the infections we see as urologists are complicated. They're in complicated patients with complicated urologic problems, and they've been treated with multiple antibiotics for long periods of time. That is a kind of a perfect storm to give us complicated infections and resi multiple resistant infections. These are common infections. That, together with the emergence of antibiotic resistance, has created stress on the patient care system. There's a subset of patients in our hospitals that are suffering from UTIs for which fewer and fewer of our medicines can help at all. Millions of patients who otherwise might have been perfectly well treated at home for their UTIs are now required to have IV therapy. About five to 10% of patients with complicated urinary tract infections end up having bacteremia, bacteria circulating in their body, and that can lead to sepsis, significant complications, fever, chills, and ultimately even death. What we want to be able to do in CUTI is find better options for them so we can go back to treating them the way that we're used to doing it. My background is urology, and I've done a lot of things in infections in urology. Really, in the last two decades, there's been a marked change. Number one, that there have been really no new antibiotics introduced, but also the, the level of resistance in the community to the antibiotics that are available has risen substantially. I'm an infectious disease doctor, um, and I specialize in patients with transplantation, so many of my patients have recurrent complicated urinary tract infections. We are seeing more and more multidrug resistant pathogens, um, particularly causing complicated urinary tract infections. What doesn't kill a bacteria makes it stronger. And because we lack very effective oral options, every round of ineffective oral therapy you give a patient is basically training microbes on how to become even more resistant. I explain to patients that every time we use an antibiotic to treat a urinary tract infection, that perhaps the next urinary tract infection, we may no longer be able to use that antibiotic. It may take them long periods of antibiotics to get over. It may take surgery. It may take hospitalizations. So all those things raise the cost, not only in, in money, but also in morbidity and, and, and impact on the patients. We need a new antibiotic or a new antibiotic class or a new antibiotic group that can take care of the patients that have complex urinary tract infections and are difficult to deal with and have resistant organisms. At Sparrow, we're committed to meeting the challenge of resistant bacteria more broadly. Now, we started uh, seven years ago with three scientists and physicians, and our mission was simple, is that we can do better uh, for these patients suffering from antimicrobial resistance. At a time when many of the larger pharmaceutical companies have decided to uh, discontinue the development of new antibiotics, Sparrow's moved forward aggressively in this area. We carefully do surveillance uh, to assess where the emerging problems are. Our chemists and uh, microbiologists then look for molecules that can address those needs, and we then move forward in drug development. This has been termed as finding the the perfect snowflake in the setting of a blizzard. One of the important aspects of drug development at Sparrow is our um, careful attention to pharmacodynamics to make sure that we select a dosing regimen to suppress the emergence of resistance. ICPD is a translational medicine institute with a focus in infectious diseases. Our goal is to identify ways to dose antibiotics in a manner that maximizes outcomes for patients. ICPD contributed a lot to the drug development process at Spiro. Early on, we used our in vitro and animal infection models to identify those conditions that were associated with efficacy. That information was then integrated with human pharmacokinetic information in order to identify likely effective doses. And right now what we're doing is we're looking at our initial predictions of what would happen in patients with the actual results. Our model at Sparrow has been centered around partnering with the clinician and scientist community. We've heard and we want to continue hearing what challenges you face in treating your patients that suffer from serious infections. I've worked with Sparrow on the advisory committee for, for urology and uh, so far it's been very uh, impressive. I've, I've been glad to see a new agent or a new option for us as urologists to use for our very complex and difficult patients. 
I would hope that this endeavor for a new oral antibiotic will lead to other options for us as, as urologists to use in some of our di very difficult patients. I've experienced firsthand, both as a physician and also as a family member, how frustrating it is when we don't have good options for our patients that are suffering from infection. And if we've done our job right and we deliver on our mission, we've been able to deliver something that can help.